Investigation of Curves, Section 1, Equations and Properties of Curves. Video 2, Families of Curves, Cartesian Equations. In this video and the next two videos, we're going to look at families of curves. You need to be familiar with Cartesian, such as y equals x squared plus 1 over x cubed plus 1. So you've got something with x's and y's in it. Parametric equations. So, for example, x equals t, cos, t plus cos t, y equals sine t. So we've got x and y expressed separately in terms of a parameter t. And finally, polar. So, for example, r equals 1 plus 2 cos squared theta. We're expressing something in terms of r, a radius, a distance from the origin, and theta, the angle that's been turned through. So in this video, we're going to be concentrating on Cartesian. And in the next couple of videos, we'll be looking at parametric and polar. In this topic, you're going to be invited to look at families of curves and find features that are common to all the curves in the family or that are specific to just some cases. Now, this checklist isn't an exhaustive checklist and you don't need to get too hung up on remembering to go through every single thing in here. This is just some ideas of the sort of things to look out for that it will be worth commenting on. So first of all, points of intersection with the axes, whether the curve has any stationary points, whether there's any symmetry, and that's both reflectional symmetry and rotational symmetry that you should look out for, whether the curve is bounded, whether it has any asymptotes, whether there are any cusps or loops. And we're going to cover some of these features in more detail in future videos. Let's have a look at an example of a family of curves in Cartesian coordinates. In your software, you're going to need to be able to use a slider to plot a family of curves, and then by changing the slider, looking for features. So let's have a look at an example. Plot the curve y equals x plus 1 over x squared minus k for the cases k is 0.5, k is 1, and k is 2. State the features that are common to all curves and the features that are unique to some of these cases. Well, here's my GeoGebra window, and in the input bar at the bottom, I'm just going to type out the equation that I was given. So y equals... And then I had x plus 1 in the numerator, so I've popped that in some brackets. And then in the denominator, I got x squared minus k. So x squared, I'm pressing Alt 2 to get my squared there, minus k. And when I hit Enter, it asks me if I want to create sliders for k. So yes, I do. And you can see it's put this slider here with k equals 1. And now I can move that and start to get a sense of how this curve changes for different values of k. And you can see that there are different behaviours and that there are points at which the behaviour switches from one to another. Now, the particular values that it's asked me to look at in the question, first of all, it asked me to look at k equals 0 0.5. So let me set the slider. And I'm noticing here that it intersects the axis at x equals negative 1. And then it looks as if it's approaching the x-axis here. Then it crosses the axis and goes up. It looks like I've got another asymptote here. And then it's coming back up off the bottom. There's a turning point just there. And then another asymptote. And then it's tending to the x-axis over here. Now, my second value it asked me to look at was x equals what, k equals 1. So that's just there. And this looks quite familiar. It's just coming down like that. I've got my vertical asymptote here. I've got my horizontal asymptote uh, there. Uh, that's looking very much like a y equals 1 over x sort of graph, a hyperbola. And then the last thing it asked me to look at was k equals 2. So that's just there. And 
Okay, I've got my uh, x-axis as an asymptote again here. I've got a vertical asymptote here and here. And it's crossing the axis here at x equals negative 1. It's crossing the uh, y-axis just there. So those are some features that I want to include in my answer. Let's have a look at what my curves might look like then. So first of all, for k equals 0 0.5. In order to sketch this then, I started by drawing in very faintly two dotted lines for the two vertical asymptotes here. And I also knew that the x-axis is an asymptote. I made a note of where the stationary points were and also made a note of where it's crossing the axis. So at x equals minus 1 there and at y equals minus 2 there. Then once I had those points in mind, I then sort of did a join the dots between them in order to get the general shape of it. Remember, you don't need to be doing a perfectly accurate drawing. You're just doing a sketch of the graph to show the key features. Here's k equals 1. So again, I've got a dotted line to show my vertical asymptote, and then I've drawn the sections of the curve in between those two parts. And then here is the case k equals 2. So I've got my dotted lines there to show my asymptotes. I've crossed the axis there at minus 1 and at y equals minus a half just there. And then I've joined those together and drawn the branch up here and the branch down there. Once you've got your three curves then, here are the sort of things that you might write down to go with it. So first of all, I want to say what's common to all of the curves and they all intersect the y-axis. Uh, at y equals minus 1 over k. So that's all of them. And then for the cases k equals 0 0.5 and k equals 2, I've got that it intersects the x-axis. x equals 1. Sorry, x equals negative 1. Then I might want to talk about the asymptotes. So all have the x-axis as an asymptote. And I might want to talk about the asymptotes that are unique to just two of those curves. So zero, k equals 0 0.5 and k equals 2, again, have uh, two vertical asymptotes. And then I might want to talk about stationary points. So k equals 0 0.5 has two stationary points. In this video, you've learned how to investigate a family of curves in Cartesian form and how to identify relevant features of curves.